jump right into this i'm going to use my t15 and wella and beige blonde just to tone it up a little bit then i'm going to go in with my clara developer and please don't go up more than 20 I'm telling you right now then i'm going to do one part of this and two parts of my developer and then i'm going to mix everything together with a good nice consistency and then we're going to just go on that hair saturate the hair don't be scared if anything spills just make sure you're getting every part with this type of look you know i'm looking to do dimensions like i want some lighter and i want some dark spots but i'm going to start from the back and i'm just going to saturate that hair make everything go over it even if you have to pour it on it pour it on it make sure you get everything make sure you get every drop of the developer on here in the toner gonna work that in work that in and now everything is saturated it's basically soaked don't get scared if you see that it looks gray or it's turning darker than usual it's not gonna look like that just make sure you get every spot everywhere just go throughout it with your comb with your brush just make sure it's everywhere inside of here comb through it with your hands feel for it just make sure everything is covered just gonna keep going over it and going over it, combing those areas, making sure there's no blonde spots or anything going on like that. Just wanna give it a good rub down and make sure everything is in there. Now we're gonna be using some neutralizer shampoo. We did use the chemicals, so we have to do that. Then I'm gonna go with my Orsi Moist Conditioner and make sure it's nice and soft because I did use the chemical. That's what we're gonna do. And now I'm going with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. This is for dry patches. This is for, you know, and I'm going to just rub it in around the hair. I'm going to go over it with lightly. I'm going to lightly go over with the flat iron. I air dried it, blow dried it. Now I'm just going to flat iron it a bit just to give it a flat look because I feel like it looks puffy in the back. Like, I don't want to look like somebody's grandmother. No. So we're just going to just go over it with the flat iron a couple times please make sure this is not too high it's on 350 but i feel like that is too high it is a chemical it's already processed here so make sure you do a lower setting than usual please don't make it hot 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 because that's not good for the hair you just process it and process it again it's very weak so make sure you just go over that make it look nice and neat just go over it a little bit i love this one in 10 flat iron like this is my favorite flat iron like I need this flat iron for everything. I actually need a one inch of this flat iron to see if they have that because this is a bomb flat iron. If you look for a flat iron, I would tell y'all to get this one because it is bomb, okay? I'm gonna keep going and going. And here's a two sided video. This is what it looked like before, this is what it looked like after. It actually blends it with my skin very well, and I'm very happy with that look this is what it looks like i'm telling you this melts into my skin this matches my skin tone not saying that the 613 didn't match but it didn't not with my skin tone i feel like it looks you know it looks real it looks nice i look like golden locks you're not telling me anything i love this look if you're a brown girl looking for this this is the one so this is the finished look i feel like it is bomb it is black girl friendly I just love it. I just love the way it looks. Um, please, girls, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't tell me what I should have did, what I shouldn't have did. Just show me some love. Thank you so much for watching, guys.